Join me in prayer right now and let's call upon the name of the Lord for releasing and breakthrough. Prayer to Ward Off Enemies, Envy and Betrayal Father, your word tells me, some worthless people have talked everyone there into worshiping other gods, even though these gods had never done anything for them. You instruct me to carefully find out if the rumor is true and call such action a disgusting thing. Make me a watchman on the wall to guard against this worthless spirit leading those I know and love astray. Father, the spirit of Belial causes people to be so selfish that you refuse to help the poor even when the poor are their own relatives. You warn me not to be like that and say that if that person I refuse to help tells you of the wrong I do, you will say that I am guilty. Protect me from the spirit of Belial, who makes people so selfish. God, the spirit of Belial is so perverted that it watches for strangers to visit your people and then demands that the stranger be given to perverse men and women to satisfy their homosexual lust. Keep me ever watchful, Lord, for those who would be stolen away by the homosexual lusts of Belial. Make me a strong wall of protection and my home a locked fortress against this spirit. Your word tells the horrible story of a traveling Levite who, with his wife, spent a night in the home of a fellow Jew who lived in a city filled with men who were no longer living for God but were filled with the spirit of Belial. These men surrounded the man's home and demanded that the Levite be given to them for homosexual relations. Rather than protecting his wife, this Levite threw his own wife out the door, and she was repeatedly raped by these evil men and died. Lord, teach me to heed the warning of this story and never become so apathetic toward you that I would willingly give up my own family members to evil. Keep me safe in the protection of your will so that I never stray from you and fall victim or allow my loved ones to fall victim to the spirit of Belial. Lord, when Hannah was interceding in the temple for a son, she was thought to be a daughter of Belial who was drunk. Help me to recognize that the spirit of Belial would attempt to bring me under the bondage of some addictive sin that traps me. Help me to recognize these addictive bondages and to avoid anything that could draw me subtly into bondage. Father, you called the sons of Eli, priests in your temple, sons of Belial who were living in sin even as they pretended to be men of God. Protect the men and women who have accepted your calling to ministry, and shield them from the hidden sins that will lead them away from you. Break the power of sin from their lives, and keep them true and honorable shepherds who lead your people into righteousness. Father, like Eli's sons, so many church leaders and men of God today have fallen prey to the spirit of Belial and have ended up broken, bound by sin, and unworthy to serve as your shepherds. Help me to pray and intercede for your shepherds. Break the power of Belial to lead your servants astray. Keep them pure and holy and blameless before God and before the people they are leading. Father, as soon as Samuel had anointed Saul to be king, the spirit of Belial immediately attacked him by casting doubts to the people about his ability to lead them and by their refusing to honor him with their gifts. The spirit of Belial was already at work, filling Saul with self-doubt and insecurities about his abilities. Even though he held his peace, this spirit began its insidious attack against him, ultimately leading him to reject you and fail miserably at the job you had called him to. Make me strong against Belial when it tempts me to doubt what you have called me to do or tempts me to feel inadequate or inept. Make me powerful through your spirit, and defeat the spirit of Belial from my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.